Gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. All right, Kiwi, let's go. Get if you can, Pepper Ann. Another boring assembly. What? Are you crazy? Assemblies are the shiny red pimento in this olive loaf we call life. Wake me up if anyone trips. Uh huh. Attention, students. Excuse me. This is Fedlow. Listen to me, you lousy. I'd rather like die than wear my Dagla leopard print to. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you're all wondering why I've called you here. No, not really. In recent months, I've noticed a decline in our learning atmosphere. Hope, however, is in sight. An experimental grant from the Sani Pippa Corporation is allowing Hazelnut Middle School to implement mandatory school uniforms. <laughs> Prisoners wear uniforms, not students. Au contraire, Pepper Ann. Many protective members of society wear uniforms. Soldiers, doctors, oddities at science fiction conventions. My clothing is my personality. They want to turn us into clones, dominate our every thought, and then the next thing you know, it's... Easy, brave new girl. Assemblies present unique opportunities to alter the course of our lives. You just gotta roll with the changes. Roll with your own change, Chimpy. They can't tell us what to wear! Did you, Pepper Ann, wait? Uniforms are proven to facilitate learning. Post-assembly chaos, Nikki. Can you smell it? The tides are turning. Did you shower today? <laughs> well, looks like someone's taking a tour through Gloomyville. Do you want to talk about it, Pumpkin? No, nothing to talk about. It's fat-free, but so creamy. It's just that my life is ruined. Better go shred my clothes since I won't be needing them for school. They announced the uniforms then. You knew? PTA isn't just a happening singles night, you know. We do discuss school issues. But it's not fair. And the worst part is there's just nothing I can do. But, oh, Pepper Ann, there's always something you can do. <sighs> like what? Oh, like a protest. <gasps> there are so many varieties. There's walkouts and sit-ins and hunger strikes and bake-offs. Bake-offs? Really, Janie? You can't just go charging into something without knowing all the facts. Think this thing through. You just might find out that you like uniforms. Do not give in. Make your opinion known. You are woman, Pepper Ann. Let them hear you roar. Grrr! I'll do it. I'll stand up to Principal Hickey. Every kid in Hazelnut will be with me. Join me in protest against tyranny and injustice. Be your own person, not society's mannequin. Pepper Ann, what are you doing? They can't tell us what to wear. Did you know that a school in Ohio reported a 51% drop in fisticuffs after implementing uniforms? No uniforms! Say it with me. No uniforms! No uniforms! Like, uniforms will be the coolest? It's a great way to hone one's accessorizing skills for high school. Hint, hint. Milo, fight the good fight with me. Sorry, P.A. Anything causing such a frenzied assembly is okay in my book. No 
Are you in trouble? Maybe. Are you? Have a seat. Your mother is here to discuss her store handling the uniform contract. <gasps> and your daughter is here because I can't leave her out there chanting and waving signs. Peppy, you didn't. Mom, how could you? Pearson, you should get to class. We'll discuss your protest in detention. Have a good day, Peppy. And don't trade your peaches for snack cakes again. Mr. Hickey, I have one word for you. Are you listening? Tunics. <gasps> ah! Thanks a lot, Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann, you are the harbinger of comfort. What have you done to Craig? Peppy, have you really thought about why you don't want uniforms? Uh, Mom, you don't get it. Uniforms rob me of my me. Well, since when is your you defined solely by your clothes? It's what's inside that counts. But, Mom, try the uniforms. You just might like them. Now, what do you think of this taffeta? Too much? Pepper Ann, isn't it great how your mom designed the uniforms so we can make them our own? I feel like Jane Eyre. Only happy. Uh, yeah, it's great. Finally, everyone's dressed as well as I am. The uniforms are... The coolest. Your mom's... The bomb. Well, since everyone is here so early, why don't we go ahead and start the learning process? No way! Attention, students. I just wanted to express my happy surprise at the success of our new uniform program. Grades are up and truancies are down. School has become as uneventful and monotonous as the rest of my miserable life. Hey, Pearson. Cool specs. Oh. How long have I had these glasses? Eight months and six days. You bought them the day of the lice prevention assembly. Okay, so I've been wearing them for a while, but they're just now being noticed. Only in contrast to the uniforms. I'm even more of an individual now. Pepper Ann, what a delightful paradox. A paradox? You mean a statement that seems to contradict itself, but nevertheless is true? Synonyms include dichotomy, oxymoron, and non-dairy creamer. You were paying attention in English class? I even took notes. I knew this uniform thing would work out. It's like I always say, open minds, open doors. With luck, things will stay this slow and we'll be out of a job. <gasps> Dare I dream? <coughs> <gasps> Principal Hickey, I wanted to apologize for the other day. Not but now, about the Pearson. uniforms. I didn't think before I. I know how you feel about the uniforms. Everyone report to the auditorium for an emergency assembly. Emergency assembly. Nikki. Let us not forget that in July of 1776, an emergency assembly was called to found a little place called the U.S. of A. This is huge. <laughs> after you first. No, after you. All right, students. Settle yourselves. Uh, yes, well, uh, then. One week ago, a grant allowed us to try out uniforms here at Hazelnut Middle School. <sighs> But one brave red-headed girl had the guts to stand up and protest. It's Auburn. Shh. Students, I have seen the light. I have to let you be yourselves. Make your own mistakes. Therefore, <laughs> come Monday, uniforms will no longer be allowed on school premises. Thank you. Yeah. Do the words... Go away mean anything to you. Oh, 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 
I think you're uh, yeah. you just need to buy that person, okay? They know. Don't worry, I won't blow your cover. What an assembly. I gotta get a bootleg. You. I am never listening to you again. Just when I go rolling with this change, they go and change it back. Hey, I never said you only roll forward. You have to get out of the car someday. I can't face anyone. It was my fault the uniforms got banned. You were right about everything, Mom. Peppy, I'm proud of you. There's nothing wrong with standing up for your beliefs as long as you keep an open mind. You gave something new a chance and discovered that your old mother knows a thing or two about fashion. Stop snapping. Isn't it great about the banning? Now we can save our uniforms to wear on dates. So you guys are happy that the uniforms got banned? Like, duh. Now we don't have to waste these cool clothes on school. But I got them banned. You should thank me. I I'm the brave red-headed girl. Nice try, Auburn. Don't sweat it, PA. The truth is out there. <sighs> See, Milo? Told you change was good. You are so right. You want to bowl a few frames instead of the usual game of crunch pot? <laughs> no. Snot is coming to our very own Hazelnut Amphitheater, <gasps> and tickets are going on sale right now! And they just sold out, but don't let that bother you kids, you probably couldn't afford them anyway. There has to be a way to see Flaming Snot, there has to. Easy, groupie girl. The concert's sold out, and besides, we both have the same amount of monies, which adds up to zero dollars and no cents. Gotta get money, gotta get tickets, gotta think. <laughs> I know. I used to feel just as desperate and powerless as you. Until Daddy bought the amphitheater. Last day, sorry. what I say. We're the most uncool people in this whole uncool town. We're the second most uncool people in this whole... Now what's wrong? Moms are for helping, you know. We're trying to get snot tickets, but it's sold out, and even if it wasn't, I couldn't afford it if you gave me a 10-year advance on my allowance. See, I can't help. I've already got tickets to that concert. This is not the time for one of your wry and sardonic jokes, Mother. Let her rip, you will guess your way. Let her rip, hear what I say. How... Harry sent them. Oh, Harry sent them. Well, that explains... nothing. Oh, Harry Schnitzer. You didn't know that's McSnot's real name? Oh, well, how would you? Well, I was the one who went to junior college with him. You went to junior college with Mick Snot? No, I went with Harry Schnitzer. He wasn't Mick Snot until after we graduated. Harry and I hung out together like you and Milo. Stop kissing my shoes. They're Swedish. So, you think any of your other friends might like to go to the concert? Maybe. <laughs> Those guys wind up up front. They were selling food on the side of the road. Hey, Trinket! Wanna look through my opera glasses? Ah! Woo! Cheerio! Hazelberg! You're good! 
Come with me, all of you. I knew these tickets couldn't be real, but don't blame my mom. She's old and uncool. You don't have to use handcuffs, do you? Why would my mother do this? Hi, young rockers. Have a good time? Just thought you might like to say hello to Mick. <sighs> hello, loves. You like the show? <laughs> but I'll take it as a positive review then, shall I? Oh, Harry, it was a great show. Maybe not as good as your polyester centipede tour in 78. You were at Centipede 78? Oh, honey, all us snotheads were there. 100 legs, 100 cities. Milo and I always argue about your lyrics in Let It Rip. See, I think you're referring to that deep place in your soul. No, no, I just like to sing the word rip. And I needed something that rhymed with lots of stuff. Peppy, Harry and I are going out for a bite. You are going out for a bite with Mick Snot? That's Mick Who's Snot. Who's with? Is that Mick? Oh, is that Lydia? Lydia! Why are they shopping here? Those clothes aren't cool. What's wrong with you people? My mom isn't cool! <laughs> Can we talk for just a minute? You know, that really doesn't look very good on... Hey, have you got a mirror anywhere in your barn? Girls, I have some exciting news. The snots trashed the Motel 3. It was just a publicity stunt, so I invited Harry to come and stay with us. You mean Harry as in Mick Snot, Harry? Well, I thought you could bunk with Moose for a while, and Harry could have your room. My room! Bunk? Put that over there! No! There! You clean this, I'll clean that! Let's move it! Oh, Peppy, it's just Harry. Well, make yourself at home. I'll see you all this evening. Bye! Hmm. Come on. I'll show you your room. <sighs> Mr. Snot? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Whew. What's up? Want a jam? No. Want to throw rocks at the paparazzi? No. Want some water? Oh, room temperature, love, if you don't mind. Anything else makes me break out. Ooh. Ooh. I burn me tongue. See there? Oh, I've never been in a room this temperature. <sighs> Perfect. You know, it's too bad it's too late in the day for me to have any liquids. I wake up all puffy, you know. Hi, all. So who's hungry? Let's go out tonight. My treat. Mom, can we go to Pizza Pit with Mick? Everybody's gonna be there, please. Okay, by me. Harry, you up for pizza? <sighs> oh, thanks, darling, but I'm just gonna turn in. It's, uh, 5.30. Yeah, I know, I know, but if I don't get 15 hours, I'm shot the next day. No, no, you go, have a good time. Oh, 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 one more thing, up. I can't sleep with any noise or sound, so, um... Go get your keys. Quietly! Oh, for the love of honey, this is ridiculous! You'll have to do better than that! I am not going to whisper, Peppy! This is my house! I can still hear you! Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> Morning, Harry. <gasps> How'd you sleep? No, not good. Those aren't foam pillows, are they? I got such a crack. You look different. Oh, because here I can relax. I don't have to be on. I mean, we're all friends, right? Hey, is it chilly? Seems chilly to me. I'm sure it's not just me, though. You feel it, don't you? It's brisk. No soy milk? Uh, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm afraid of open places, very short people, <laughs> fur-bearing animals. Talk about your goose flesh. He's afraid of cartoons and potpourri. Ah, come on, P.A. There's no way Mick Snot is that big of a dip. I'm telling you, he's not cool Mick Snot. He's uncool Harry Schnitzer. Blasphemer! But it's the truth. I'll prove it. Yeah, you're the truth. Ah, ah. 
the horse that talks. Are you coming in, then? Would you excuse me a minute? Please don't do that. Okay, I asked you not to do that. It's very tiring. See, because now I need to take a little lie down. Oh, for the love... Not this kind of soy milk. This has corn sweetener. Enough! Harry, sit down. As an old friend, I feel I should tell you. Get a grip! You complain about everything. Why should you, of all people, act so miserable? You're famous and successful, and the people love you. Forgive me, Harry, but you have turned into a precious old fuss pot. I think it's time for you to go back on the road. No! <laughs> Harry, you've got to face life. you got to go out and live. Harry, I release you. Ah! You know, for all the hassle, it was nice to see Harry again. And it was nice being thought of as cool for a little while. But, Mom, you've always been sort of cool. Cool enough for a mom, anyway. You know, you shouldn't worry so much about being cool because, well, first, nobody is cool all the time. Harry certainly showed us that. And second, not worrying about being cool, in fact, actually makes you cooler. That is possibly the wisest thing your mother has ever said. You should write it down. Pen, pen. You never have a pen. <gasps> Maybe you could even wear something like this. Forget the pen. Run for your life.